Okay guys, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, like, a, like a kind of like a silhouette with a sunset behind it picture. Sort of, I mean, we're not really, it's a little bit more abstract. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna get a new image. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. A new sketch is what I meant to do. Uh, I'm gonna keep it at 15 by, uh, sorry, 1536 by 2048. Um, and it is gonna be, um, a portrait style picture. You can see what we're gonna do right here in the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that. Um, I left my stylus at school, so I won't be able to use that. So I'm using my Apple Pencil, but I'm trying to make sure that it's, um, that the uh, touch sensitivity is, I'm gonna trim that off, uh, or not touch sensitivity, but the uh, um, pressure sensitivity is what I meant to say. All right, so what we're gonna do I want to talk about what brushes we're going to use first. So the brushes we're going to use, and they're in three different places, so I'm going to kind of put them all in this palette. Uh, this is my basic palette right here, so I'm going to grab my brushes. I'm going to put them in the right places. So the first brush I'm going to use is down in Artistic, and it is Conceptual 2. So I'm going to take that brush, I'm going to bring it over to the side here. Just put it right there. I can move it back later or I can always reset things later. It's totally fine. Um, the next brush I'm going to use is in the texture, which is right here, and it is Signature Ink. So I'm going to put that guy right there. And then the next one I'm going to use is going to be in Shape. I'm going to put that one right there. So we're going to be using four brushes. Um, and actually we're gonna kind of put that guy there. So these are the four brushes I'm gonna use right here. We have Conceptual 2, Signature Ink, Dry Ink, and Smudge Pen. Um, we're gonna be editing our dry ink because that's gonna be our leaves. But before the, we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and um, start doing my background with my Conceptual 2. All right, here I am with my Conceptual 2 and um, I'm going to pick out some colors, and I found this cool thing that I've seen some other students been using. This is not something, a tool that I usually use. I really like using the wheel. That's my preference. But I saw some people using these cool variety collections, and I was like, well, that's kind of cool. Um, I don't remember who I saw using them, but it was someone in class. So um, whoever it was, thank you for the inspiration. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with, like, purple here. Or, sorry, no, I'm going to start with blue. So I'm going to start with blue first, blue here, uh, and then I'm going to go to purple, kind of like hot pink, red, orange, down to yellow, okay? So that's the plan. We're going to go kind of th part way through the um, color spectrum, and I'm sorry if you're hearing noises in the background. My cat is going to the bathroom right next to me. It's not pleasant, so <laughs> be glad you're not here right now. So I'm going to start with my blue. And I'm going to just kind of uh, make that corner blue. And I'm going to move directly into my purple. I'm going to use that blue violet. Um, I'm going to go a little bit more purple there. So you can pick whatever colors you want. I'm just going to kind of do this. And we're going to blend these all together later. Oh, it's very unpleasant here right now, guys. Be so glad that you are not right next to me right now. My cat knows how to dig a whole lot, but she doesn't know how to do anything like any productive digging. It's a good thing my cats are house cats. Because predators, are, predators would eat the heck out of them. terrible thing to say. Miss Lowy, goodness. All right, I like, I kind of like it into a little bit, I'll go a little, a little orange. Oops. There we go. I got our color. I'll go right there. All right, here, and let's go. Yeah, that's an okay color. I want to really get to like a 
bright yellow right down that corner. So I'm gonna go here, grab, ooh, that's a little bit, that's a little, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna use, oh wait, hold on, I wanna get just, it's got a little corner of that crazy bright yellow there. All right, so now we got some stripes that we've drawn, and we're gonna use our smudge pen next. Okay, so we're gonna see how that works. So um, with my smudge pen, I'm gonna use it a couple different ways. Um, I'm gonna make sure it's a pretty good size. I like that size. Um, first, I'm gonna kind of like just blur the edges like this, and then I'm gonna do some circles and I'm gonna see what it looks like after that. So I'm kind of blur here. I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit. So I'm just pulling it down towards the bottom right-hand corner here. And I'm just going back and forth. That's all I'm doing. I'm doing maybe maybe slight ovals there. And all I'm doing is just trying to get rid of that like hard line between them. Right here. They still look pretty stripey, which is not my intention. Oh, it's too stripey there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of just go, uh, let's try this. It's okay. So all I'm doing is I'm just going like up and down at a diagonal. Ooh, you can really see it on that one. Don't worry, we're gonna clean this up. We'll make it nice and neat looking later. I love how my cats know when I'm gonna be stuck at next to the cat litter box for a really long time. They did this all during the um, lockdown too. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some circles. I'm gonna make that flow a little bit lower. And if your thing, if your tool is not working the way that it should be working, try resetting it. Let me show you how to do that real quick. So if I need to reset this, if I've totally messed with all the settings, you can press reset down here. It resets it to the default and you can kind of work back from there. So if your pen is just, ugh, it's just not working right, Try doing that and then build it back up to where you need to be. I do it all the time. I'll make that a little bit bigger. There we go. So now I'm doing, again, I'm doing like little circles, little tiny circles. Because I really want it to look like not stripey. I really want it to look like a soft blended thing. Okay. Looks okay. A little more bloody here. Get in there. All right. I feel okay about this right now. Okay. So we're done with the background, at least for now. Um, you can add something at the end if you want to. Um, that's up to you. I put a new layer in. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my tree trunk. So I'm going to, and uh, this is a silhouette picture, so we're going to make it black. Okay. Um, and I'm using my signature ink pen and um, all I did, um, I did turn off my, my pressure because um, it's not going to work for you. So I want that my, my Apple pen to work the same way as our styluses for this. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to start out a little bit big and I'm going to make the big tree trunk. Um, I'm going to start in this corner here and I'm just going to kind of let it go the way it wants to. So I'll just I don't know, like that. It doesn't have to be solid. You can see a little bit through it if you want to. Um, I'll make some big branches. It looks a little bit dorky right now, but that's okay. It looks very strange. Oops. Um, so I'm gonna make that pen a little bit smaller and I'm gonna kind of clean up some of these edges here. So I'm gonna kind of make that kind of blend in a little bit. So like it's growing and I'm gonna give it some branches coming off of there. Uh, I'm not worrying about the ends of these branches too much because what I'm going to do, ooh, that one's not, not a pretty branch. There we go. That's a bit better. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, have leaves at the end of these. So I'm not going to stress about that part too much. Mm. I don't like that branch that I just drew. No, I don't like that one. Uh, I'll make it branch out like that. There we go. That, that's less more what I want it to look like. So I'm just kind of cleaning up. I'll show you what I'm doing right here. So going in here and I'm just kind of dragging down there so that it 
kind of looks like it's coming out of there and it's not just like sticking out at like a weird angle. Where the branch meets the tree is always going to be a little bit thicker than the rest of the branch. So I make that just a little bit thicker right there. Okay. Still don't like this branch. Oh, wait, that's better. There we go. Eh, still not a fan. That's okay. It'll be fine. Okay. So we got some cool looking branches there. I'm going to make that a little smaller and I'm going to do some more detail work up here. Now, a lot of these things are going to be hidden. So I'm not going to stress about making them super perfect. It's okay if they're not perfect. Really, honestly, no trees are perfect, so. This branch and a little, I don't know, something coming out. No, that's kind of weird looking. Let me fix that. Oop. Okay. I'll kind of clean up that little branch there and give it a little thingy. All right, let's get some smaller branches on these guys. That guy's gonna cross right there. It's okay. This whole section right here, which I'm not a super fan of, are probably gonna get covered by leaves. So it's gonna be fine. Even if I don't like it right now, it'll be cool. I'm kind of a subscriber to like, I don't know if you guys watch Bob Ross, but man, like his like, oh, look at this little accent we just made. Cool, we'll just make it into something else. Whatever. It's all good. All right, well, got a tree there. Let me give him one more little branch. Apparently my tree is a boy. Maybe it's non-binary actually, who knows? Anyways, we got a cool tree there and I'm gonna give it some branches. Now I have to edit, like I said earlier, we have to edit this dry brush. Now I wanna put my leaves on another layer because if I don't like the way my leaves are looking, I don't want to have to press like undo a thousand times. So I'm going to put another layer and let's go edit this brush. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to change the shape. I want to change it to something that's like kind of leafy looking. Um, this one's okay. Kind of leafy looking. It's all right. We've got a couple other ones you can choose from. Um, one that I did on another one. Where is it? I think I did not that one. <laughs> That's not it. Maybe it was that one. Eh, I don't like it that one as much. I really like what I just showed you, which is this guy right here. Um, and it's like on the, the third row down, right in the middle. So one, two, three, one, two, three, right there. Um, so let's check and see if we like it the way it is. It's okay. So what I want to do, because right now it doesn't have a lot of randomness to it, so I'm going to do some size randomness. I'm going to do some rotation randomness. I'm going to do a little bit more spacing randomness, not too much. Let's see. I think that's actually pretty good right there. Let's try it out. Let's see what we think. Okay. Doesn't look terrible. All right. I'm going to make it, I'm going to start out a little bit big and we're going to see what happens. All right. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to scribble all over this. Now, one thing that people make mistakes on, um, in regards to, uh, trees is they might just be like, Oh, it's a tree. Look, it's done. Just like that. Mm, it's not really what trees look like though. So I'm going to not do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make my tree like kind of big. So it's going to come up to here and it's going to come, oops. All the way down to here so I'm just gonna kind of scribble I kind of love scribble drawing honestly it's kind of amazing oh look at that look at that my uh, branches that I wasn't a fa fan of are now not a problem anymore now I don't want to make it all black because I do want some of that sky to look to show through Ooh, I like that okay I'm gonna make them a little bit taller uh, like what I did there. Oh no. There we go. Make a little bit taller. There we go. Okay. So now you have some things that you can do. 
um, if you're going to put any like stars or shooting stars in the background or a moon or something like that, you remember you're going to want to put it underneath these two layers. Otherwise your stars are going to be like on your tree and that's going to be weird. Um, if you want to put anything else in the background, another silhouette in the background, remember it should be, um, it's going to be backlit. Um, it's going to have, um, so backlit means that the light is behind it. So it's going to look like a shadow sort of. So you want to keep it, whatever you're going to do in black. So if you want to have like a little person here, if that's what you want to do, totally fine. You want to put like another little tree over here, totally fine too. It's up to you, but this is what I want as the basic idea for this drawing.